the most beautiful women in the world, don't you think so? Yes. yes. I wanted to get married and become a bride since I was five. Oh. <laughs> One day I told my mom, Mommy, I want to get married. Okay, oh, you're too young to get married. Oh, I don't care, I want to get married. <laughs> mom said, okay, okay, you can get married. Really? When? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and that became a famous joke to be talked over and over in my family for a long time. But it didn't stop me from the idea of getting married. <laughs> I started looking for my Mr. Right since then. The first three years in elementary school, I fell in love with my class leader. He was handsome, dark and tall. Oh, not this tall. This <laughs> but the problem is, he never paid attention to me. I think the girl he liked was the one who always wore a pair of <laughs> red rambles during rainy days. And what I wore in rainy days? Ugly plastic shoes. I was so embarrassed when it was raining because I hated the ugly rainy shoes. I wanted to hide my feet when it was rainy. And the girl must be from a rich family. And the boy only liked the rich girls. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> and at third grade, I was transferred to another class. The class leader was another handsome boy. <laughs> White, chubby, and with a dimple on his face. Mm. But the mir miserable thing was, all the girls in the class liked him. Oh. <laughs> I was probably number 10 or 20 in the line. I never had a chance to talk with him. At that time, I thought I was only a little ugly duckling. Who would pay attention to a little ugly duckling? <sighs> in junior high, the class only had girls. So I, I never had a chance to talk with boys. But I went to a t math teacher's house to study mathematics once a week. In that small classroom, there is a boy from the same school. One day I looked at him and he looked at me. At that moment, four eyes come out. <laughs> there was the sparkling. We fell in love with each other. Very quick, but in the following three years, the love was very pure. No talking, no writing, no nothing. Only eye contact. <laughs> Only and the heart beating and the flushing when we were in the same class. And after graduation, the puppy love ended. For the pity. After that, I got into the first girls' high school in Taipei. Wow. Good school, right? Yeah. All the girls in that school are very great. I remember the first day in the uh, new student orientation. Some girls get together and we started chatting. The topic they were chatting about is the experience about boyfriends. Oh. <laughs> I was embarrassed because my experience about boyfriends is <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero. Blank. And that blankness kept for another three years because the school I went to, non-school, you know, non-school, non another page. <laughs> okay. Wow. Finally, not yet. <laughs> not so soon. I got into college. Finally, I got a boy classmates. Oh. <laughs> but I started to dress up, make up, so boys pay attention to me and started chatting with me. Hey, hey, it's my turn. I became picky. Among all those boys, there was a very strange one, you know. He didn't come to the class very often. Even he came, he came in late and left earlier. His hair was always messy. He didn't shave. He looked very sloppy. But he was 
different. He came in the class and he sat behind me. When the teachers were lecturing in the front, he started talking with me from behind about his life experience, his passion about life, his philosophy, the, everything that I don't understand. I didn't understand. I was only 19. But uh, I, I don't know why. I pretended and I, I nodded. <laughs> and I found something very strange. The more he talked, he became more handsome to me. <laughs> and, uh, that pretending and nodding led my life into a new horizon. <laughs> After about half a year, one day he told me he would marry me in the future. Oh my God! I wanted to get married since I was five! My <laughs> dream was going to come true! <laughs> but don't be so excited, not that fast. I was 19. I had to wait until graduation from university. And then he went to the military service for two years, right? And then he got a job. And then one day he told me, <clears throat> I'm a responsible man. I want to buy my new own house before I can marry you. <laughs> what? You buy your own own house? How long I'm going to wait? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get married now. <laughs> but I don't know who said that. It's maybe Im Jong Ma or Obama. <laughs> Patience is the only way to happiness. So, I waited and waited another three years. Oh. Finally, he bought his own small apartment. Mm. And then, he had no excuses again, right? Yeah. Finally, the prince and the princess got married. Oh. Next picture. <laughs> <laughs> Do they live happily ever after? Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> Toastmaster. <laughs> <laughs>